Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel CAD Tutorials for Beginners. And uh, in this tutorial, we will learn how to create a sweep with uh, law. So uh, we'll just take an example of uh, pipes. So let us start. So uh, go to the uh, generative shape design and create this uh, geometrical set as well. So uh, now we'll create some profiles here. So uh, the profiles uh, which are required to create the guide curve for the uh, for the uh, sweep. So let us create these profiles here. Give it a dimension. Uh, let's say 100 mm. and uh, create some lines make it as a construction line select this line the circle and this point and make it uh, coincidence make it again a construction line and now we will create a continuous line over here Provide dimensions to this line. Let's say 100 mm. And now, uh, by using a trim option, just uh, trim this unwanted portions. And now exit the workbench. So now, one sketch is created. Now, just select this another plane over here Just select a line provide a dimensions and here we will provide 100 mm make it horizontal and provide a dimension let's say uh, 60 mm by using a corner command just create this corner over here and provide a dimension 50 mm just click exit so now these two profiles are created so uh, now using combined command just combine these two curves select this first curve select the second one and then click preview double click on it just select along direction provide the direction as well so for the sketch one provide this plane as a direction and for the sketch two provide this plane as a direction and then click ok so now we will hide this two sketches and now we will create a sweep along this profile so just select the sweep and select a center and radius just select this curve as a center curve and provide a radius by using a law here make it linear law so the start point will be let's say 25 and end will be value will be 20 and then close it make a preview so uh, make it a inverse law we will make it a inverse law and then click preview in this way, uh, this sweep is created. Go to the law and change here. Uh, let's say end value will be 18 mm. And then click OK. First, we'll uh, save this. Just 
save as a sweep with long. Now go to the part design. We will just uh, close the surface. Select close surface option and select this sweep and make it close. So now you can hide this. So now we will simply make a patterns of this. Select the reference element along Y axis and add this multiple instances over here. Add a spacing, let's say 90 or 85 you consider here and then click preview and then click OK. So now again go to the make up generative shape design and uh, select a cylinder here select a point create a point over here so from this point we will create one pipe here so uh, keep this as 0 0 as it already at origin and uh, select a direction y direction Add the radius 25 as we have taken earlier. Make this as 0 and then just drag it and then click OK. I will again save this and uh, go to the part design. Again, with a close surface command, just select this object to close and then click OK. So now we will hide this cylinder over here. Just hide this. So now our part is created. Now you can just uh, shell this with a shell command. Just select a shell. Select this Faces to remove. And then you can just click OK. There is some error out there. result cannot be assembled because of current or permanent restriction. So we will just modify some dimensions over here. So maybe uh, the radius end is creating the issue here. So let us try increasing let's say 21 and now we will just try here. First we will try, ok it is happening now, so we will just double click and modify it, just try selecting this faces and then click ok. So in this way you can create a hollow sweep now. Now we will simply uh, create one flange over here just select this face then click OK go to positioning and then click OK make it normal view so we'll make a circular flange only select 100 mm and make it pad over here keep this 20 as it is Just 
reduce this to 80. I think it is uh, wrongly created. It is not created at this place. So just select this plane and make it zero. So now it is okay. So here again, uh, we'll reduce this thickness. And go to this we'll simply uh, create some holes over here or you can uh, use the hole command as well you select the hole select the face and select the uh, positioning option We'll first uh, drag it from the center and then we'll position it. Just make it coincidence and provide a dimension from this Z axis, uh, let's say uh, 30 mm, and then click exit. And then click preview. So now we will just uh, pattern this. Let us pattern it. Select here uh, Y axis and add this. Let's say uh, five numbers. So in this way, you can create this. Now we will um, create that hole once again. So let us go to the flange. Just create a and make it to 24 and then exit it. Make it pocket. Select up to next. And then click OK. So uh, just change this to 48. So again we will change this dimension over here. Let's say uh, 35 mm. So that it will get properly accommodated. In this way, you can create this flange over here. You can also create the flange over here. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel for more videos. Thank you very much.